Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would be grateful if you take a few moments to listen to the following short safety announcement. On hearing the fire alarm or in the event of an instruction, we would ask everyone to evacuate the building immediately. Staff will be on hand to assist. Please leave in a calm and orderly manner. The fire exits are located in the corners of the room. Please take a moment now to locate the exit closest to you, bearing in mind that it may be behind you. Then make your way to the assembly point, the lawn in front of the Lanyon building, and we would ask you to remain there until instructed otherwise. Please do not attempt to re-enter the building, even if the alarms have been silenced, as this does not always mean the emergency is over. I would also like to take this opportunity to ask you to silence all mobile phones now for the duration of the ceremony. Thank you for your cooperation, and we trust you enjoy your visit to Queen's University. A short university video will now be played. The world is changing at an unprecedented pace. Every industry is embracing change, drawing on a new wealth of insights and tools to advance in today's connected society. At Queen's University, we have a bold ambition to lead the way in the challenges we see ahead. Every day, we touch thousands of lives in our pursuit of excellence. Finding the solutions to real-world issues and inspiring research to have real-world impact. We're protecting the cybersecurity of billions of internet users. We are at the forefront of conflict resolution, making a difference to the lives of children, families and communities across the world. We're working with industry to develop new technologies. We're creating access to safe, nutritious food for a growing population. And we're at the forefront of major medical breakthroughs, making a real impact on people's lives. We give amazing minds a place to do amazing things in a university fit for the 21st century. We are the heartbeat of one of Europe's fastest growing cities in a country where the hospitality, welcome and warmth of our people is legendary. Queen's impact economically can't be underestimated either. Every year we play our part, making a multi-billion pound contribution to the UK economy. While our research is estimated to have an annual impact of over three billion pounds. And evidence shows that for every one pound invested in Queens, over eight pounds is generated for the economy. Together, we are shaping a better world. Congratulations on your recent academic achievements and welcome to the Queen's alumni community. As a graduate, you now embark on the next stage of your lifelong connection with this prestigious university. The skills and knowledge that you gained during your degrees are testament to your hard work and the support that you've received from school and faculty staff and of course, your friends and your champions. I hope that you will be inspired by your experience as a student at Queen's and in time, create your own impact on the world. I have no doubt that each one of you has the potential to achieve greatness no matter where life takes you. You now join a distinguished network of over 200,000 past students of the university who have enhanced and continue to enhance both life in Northern Ireland and much further afield. The impact of graduates can be seen through their contributions to the worlds of business, healthcare, sport, 
engineering, social justice, and many, many more. Wherever you travel, Queen's will continue to be a part of your journey, sharing in your successes, supporting you through more challenging times, and providing networks and opportunities to your advantage. As a graduate, we'll keep you up to date with how you can transform your relationship with Queen's from student from a time to graduate forever. We'll even tell you how you can take advantage of ongoing support from the university's careers, employability and skills team. But we can't share the benefits of your new alumni status with you if we don't know where to find you. If you do nothing else, make sure we can at least keep in touch with you by following the instructions on the screen. Finally, congratulations and good luck on behalf of everyone from the Development and Alumni Relations Office. Please rise to receive the academic procession. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to you all on this very special occasion. Uh, to graduates, parents, families and friends, it's great to see you all here. I declare open this congregation for the conferment of degrees and presentation of diplomas and certificates. Please be seated. Members of Senate, colleagues from the University, ladies and gentlemen, guests and visitors, 
and most importantly, of course, you graduands from the School of Medicine, Dentistry and Biomedical Sciences. I have to say you scrub up well. Welcome to this summer graduation event in the Whitla Hall, and it's an absolute pleasure for me to be with you here today and to be able to say a few words on this very special day in your journey through life, your graduation. Um, we look forward to, to the process as it, as it pro proceeds in the next few minutes. So today marks the end of what has been a remarkable journey for you all here at Queen's. A journey that we hope has helped to shape and prepare you for the future as you embark on exciting new pathways and careers. Of course, we are all aware that arriving at this point has not been easy. You have faced many hurdles, as many people have, over recent past. Over the past few years, your generation in particular, I think, has been most impacted certainly by the pandemic, COVID-19, um, and negotiating the changing environment that that imposed upon us. Most of you were here from 2020, 21 or 22, during which times there was disruption to the, to the way we taught, to the way you learned, and you had to adapt. So that ever-changing external environment did provide you with some life lessons around how to adapt, and you did remarkably well. Um, the university, our staff, and in particular you, you just demonstrated agility, tenacity, the ability to innovate during very uncertain times, and they were uncertain times, yet you made it here today, so well done. So what I want to pay tribute to is the way that you responded to those challenges. You came through with flying colors. Whether it's the pandemic or cost of living crisis, you've managed to work your way here to the end point of the first phase in your education. The rest of your life will be the rest of your education, which should continue. Hopefully, Queen's has helped build the resilience you have all shown in abundance to this point. And it is your resilience and determination to succeed that have led you to where you are today. That is becoming a graduate of Queen's University of Belfast. And I am assuming you make a safe transit across the stage. Being on this stage and in this hall, of course, reminds me of a recent event, very important event, uh, when we had prime ministers, we had presidents and world leaders coming together to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the signing of the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. Um, that was something that Queen's was very proud to host. Peace and prosperity are vital ingredients if we are to move forward as a thriving society. And those aims are part of the university ethos, part of our civic responsibility. So it was fitting that such an event should take place here at Queen's, and we were delighted to host it. That event and being on this stage, of course, reminds me of my own journey, which was quite a long time ago. I came to Queen's 43 years ago in the mid early 1980s. And I have to say, what you will not have endured has been what Belfast was like at that time, but what we have seen is the impact of the Good Friday Agreement and how transformative that is. When I was a student here back then, at night time, Shaftesbury Square was the end point for a no-go zone, basically, that students didn't go down any further into town at night. And as we struggled with conflict in this society, but we come through that, we come through that with flying colors. And it's important to recognize the scale of that change um, when you celebrate your achievements here. Part of that event um, saw a keynote speech by our former chancellor, Senator George Mitchell, as he reflected on the difficulties and challenges in succeeding with developing that agreement. And he coined a really important point. He said, within the word impossible, is embedded the word possible. And I think if you always go forward with that attitude, you will do well. It was a very powerful message and reminded us of the power of belief and determination. They really can work miracles. As a university, we believe it is our responsibility to make a difference, and we are determined to drive forward positive change not just in Northern Ireland, but obviously also nationally and globally. Our mission is simple, to reach out to people and transform lives through our research, through educating talented people just like you, who then will go out and have impact on society in a positive way. 
You're, you all here have completed degree programs in the medical or biomedical sciences, meaning that you're well placed to start careers in the healthcare system or in the commercial or academic sectors working in areas linked to human health or even more broadly linked to life science. Society needs your help. Uh, we need you to tackle lots of the major challenges that we face, not just in healthcare, but also in healthcare. Um, the, the challenges are diverse. That we've risked, apart from the risk of zoonotic pandemics, which we've all endured, of course, we have the challenge of an aging population and multimorbidities, the difficulties we face in developing new innovative approaches to disease prevention and treatment, and breaking down socioeconomic disparities and lifestyle differences with respect to, to lifestyle, nutrition, and, and access to treatment. You have the opportunity to leave here and steer your career so you can start to address some of these challenges. And as I said, we need you to do that. Hopefully working in health and life sciences, you have learned one important thing, something we promote very strongly here at Queen's, and that is teamwork. That is working together cooperatively to solve problems, address challenges, and enhance outcomes. We can always achieve more when we work together. That's, that's unquestionable. And of course, hurdles such as the global challenges demand team-based approaches across the disciplines, of course, with health and life sciences as the epicenter. But just as important as the disciplinary expertise which you gathered during your progress here at Queen's are the traits and generic skills that hopefully Queen's helped develop within you. Analytical skills, critical thinking, problem solving, imagination and creativity, these are all critical. Your time at university has also instilled a commitment, we hope, to civic responsibility and to civic leadership. And we hope that you hold to that. So, many of you now have the tools to contribute positively to areas of critical need in society, locally and globally. As you take your next steps, use them to make a difference. Be a force for good. Be confident in your ability. As you take the next steps, I would suggest that you consider four things. Just my own recommendations, but based on commentaries from others. Do something you're passionate about. It was Oprah Winfrey who said, follow your passion because it will lead you to your purpose. In everything you do, be compassionate. The broadcaster Germany Ken said, always be kinder than necessary. Work hard, that's an obvious one. The American naturalist Henry David Thoreau said, success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. And finally, give it a go. Adopt that attitude. The American surgeon and author Atul Gawande said, better is possible. It does not take genius, it takes diligence, moral clarity, ingenuity, but above all, it takes a willingness to try. So, please go, go please, sorry, grow into your careers and with courage and conviction. Feel empowered by your scholarship. You can make a real difference in the world and hopefully Queen's has made a difference to you during your time here. I wish you every success in your future careers and look forward to hearing about the many successes that I know you will achieve in the future. But this today is not about the future. It's about a celebration of what you've achieved to this point. It's a day for you and your family and for the friendships you've made here uh, to, to be celebrated as many will endure a lifetime. Please enjoy the moment. You've earned it. Congratulations to all of you and best wishes to you in the future. Will all graduates please rise? In the name and by the authority of the university, I confer on you and those whose names appear on the graduation list, the degrees, diplomas and certificates to which you are entitled, and for which you who are present will be individually presented by the head of school. Graduates, please be seated.
Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Porik Eric Cahoon. <laughs> Laura Nicole Cushley. <laughs> Sally Ann Duncan. Natalie Charlotte Fisher, <laughs> Ashley Carl Hamilton, <laughs> Una Mary Heron, <laughs> Avine Kelly, <laughs> Brianna Neve Kerr. Sarah Kuhn. Mariella Kioreva. Anita Lavery. Misha Jasmine McKelvey. Jason William McKeown. Lauren McVicker, <laughs> Deborah Elana Moss, <laughs> Vega Roisin Murray, <laughs> Orla Bridge O'Shaughnessy, <laughs> Joseph Murta O'Sullivan. Georgiana Christina Parau. <laughs> Jared Patrick Quinn. <laughs> Eilish Sutton. <laughs> Rebecca Faye Townsend. <laughs> Deirdre Venny. Jared Walls, <laughs> Timothy David Winter, <laughs> Timothy Christopher Wright, <laughs> and for the degree of Doctor of Medicine, Paula Houghton, John Joseph Smith. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Philosophy, Catherine Patricia Hanna. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Clinical Education, Patrick Henry Clements. <laughs> Keegan Elizabeth Lewis. And for the degree of Master of Science by Research in Cancer Medicine, Jamie Christopher Riley. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Science, Taranvir Kaur Kangura. <laughs> Samantha McCormick. Anna Rainey, <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Science, Joshua Anderson, <laughs> Deli Appelt, <laughs> Emilia Bertaschutai. Aaron James Butler, <laughs> Katie Alexandra Dunlop, <laughs> Emma
Ellen Marie Farker. Catherine Joan Fleming. Olivia Gibson. Amy Elizabeth Hampton. Emma Rachel Hanna. Malek Hawella. Emma Wilhelmina Hoy. Aideen Holbrook. Saffron Cargbo. Claire Kelly. Anna Kidd. Caleb Nathan Logan. Hannah Mary Mallon. Abby Diane McClure. Paula Maria McGill. Ellen Catherine Montgomery. Eve O'Hagan. Goda Baldauskaite. Ellen Louise Bannon. Cleana Bayard. Molly Byrne. Ethan Stewart Christie. Cleana Corr. Natasha Emma Crawford. Matthew Dalton. Claire Delargy. Fanula Donaghy. Brandon Doyle. Rebecca Jane Eakin. Chloe Finley. Eva Fox. Megan Sarah Graham. Callum Patrick John Hamill. Donald Harrison. Maeve Elizabeth Hodgers. Connell Hughes. Amy Ingram. Aaron Killifin. Orla Logue. Nikita McCann Murphy. Cara Julianne McConnell. Amy McElvogue. Sarah McGurr. Ella Mae Michael Hatton. Podrig Kevin McNichol. Annie Miller. Jane Ann Monaghan.
Jennifer Nithel. Sarah Nugent. Tara Therese O'Hare. <clears throat> Niall O'Hare. <clears throat> Joseph Reel. <clears throat> Sean Rice. <clears throat> Kerry Louise Russell. Chloe Ryder, <laughs> Podrig Shearer, <laughs> Cora Sheeran, <laughs> Karina Louise Smith, <laughs> Cherry Stevenson. Kaho Edward Tang, <laughs> Benjamin Walker, <laughs> William Watt, <laughs> Lewis Williams, <laughs> Lucy Wilson. Chelsea May Dumapias, Sarah Finnegan, David May, Cara Teresa McCluskey, Chloe Moran. Grace Rogan, <laughs> Sonam Munir Shah, <laughs> Poppy Smith, <laughs> Katie Sweeney, <laughs> Bimalika Thapa. Emer Vernon, <clears throat> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Human Biology, Tiernan Coulter, <clears throat> Matthew Elliot Gillespie, <clears throat> Megan Noble. Rachel Waters, Jack Jonathan Aiken, Jonathan Wilson Beatty, Caitlin Coney, Jade Crozier. Louise Davison, <laughs> Jacob Ilyuk, <laughs> Orla Irvine, <laughs> Paola Jarzebska, <laughs> Bethany Grace Major. Anna McCochley, <laughs> Michael McCausland, <laughs> Paul McCluskey, <laughs> Eva McAvoy, <laughs> Bronna Scallon. James McDade, 
Megan Louise Willis. Congratulations, you're no longer graduands. <laughs> but graduates of Queen's University Belfast, you, you should all be extremely proud of what you have achieved. I know that all of my colleagues here at Queen's and myself we are very proud of you and we know that your family and friends are also extremely proud of what you've done. Your friends and family who've supported you on the way as long with the colleagues at the university who've helped you in your journey are part of your team. So they are the team that helped you achieve what you have managed to achieve and I think it seems apt right now if you give a round of applause to the teams that have helped you all complete your degree. Finally, um, I'd like to give you all the opportunity sh to show your appreciation for your Dean and Head of School, Professor Pascal McKeown. Maybe it would be apt, not to say anything, but Pascal, you could move to the lectern up there so everyone can see you clearly. <laughs> I've just a very few words just, just to acknowledge the <clears throat> immense contribution that Pascal has made to this institution on, on, on wider afield. He's been working at Queen's, I'd not say for exactly how long, but over 40 years. And he's stepping back from a school leadership role this September. And I mean, in addition to his clinical work, Pascal has been a leader in heart disease. He has been involved in the innovative development of, me of medical education, very engrossed in that. He has given unwavering support to staff and students alike throughout his time at Queen's. And for us, he's also been a transformative leader, personally, I would really like to extend a warm thank you to Pascal for his devotion to this institution and to you. And I think it seems apt that we allow you and ourselves to pay Pascal uh, some, so let's celebrate his success here at Queen's and what he's given to this institution. Could I ask for it to be a little more raucous than the last one? <laughs> for Pascal. <laughs> Pascal, you can return to your seat now. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was better. So now back to you, the reason we're here today, the graduates of Queen's University Belfast. There are a few other people um, who would also like to extend their congratulations to you, and these will play in the videos above my head now over the next few minutes. Congratulations everyone for having finished your degree and graduating today. I would like to say my special thank you to Laura Cushley who has worked with me for years on, on, the, on the study of NAVI site, which is to see how we will be able to provide better environment for our patients with visual impairment in the city of Belfast and around the world. Thank you Laura for being so conscientious and thank you for doing such a wonderful PhD and I hope that you will enjoy your postdoc years. To the recent graduates in human biology and biomedical science, congratulations and all the success for the future. As Associate Director for Postgraduate Education and Training in the Wilkham Wilson Institute for Experimental Medicine, 
I would like, on behalf of all of my colleagues, to congratulate us. Stop. stop. That's okay. As Associate Director for Postgraduate Education and Training in the Wellcome Wilson Institute for Experimental Medicine, I would like, on behalf of all of my colleagues, to congratulate all our PhD students on reaching this momentous occasion. It is a testament to your hard work, dedication and resilience through some very difficult times, especially during the worst of the pandemic. We are very proud of your achievements and hope that the experience and expertise that you've developed during your time with us will serve you well in the future careers, wherever that may take you. Well done and all the very best for long and productive careers. And please, don't be strangers. As Chancellor of Queen's University, I would like to offer my sincere congratulations to all of our graduating students. You know, graduation is a significant milestone in every student's career. And today is an opportunity for the university to formally recognize your hard work and congratulate you on your success. Your graduation is even more special as the circumstances in which you've completed your studies has made your achievements simply remarkable. I know the journey has not been easy, but you've demonstrated incredible resilience, agility, and determination in adapting to new circumstances to achieve your goals. You're graduating at a time of major challenges and change across the world, but it's also, I believe, a time of great opportunity and potential. Please use your knowledge, your skills, your talents to help us shape a better world. Our society needs people like each of you, creative, critically good at thinking and doing, problem solvers who can make real differences in transforming lives and societies. So as you close this important chapter in your life and begin a new one, I wish you the very, very best as you go out into that world that awaits. Please be a force for positive change and always be proud of the fact that you are a Queens graduate because Queens is certainly proud of you as are your parents, families, and friends celebrating with you today. Congratulations again and best wishes for every success in the future. We're nearly done. So please remember as a graduate that you're part of the Queen's family. So do stay in touch with us. You can do this through our Development and Alumni Relations Office, and they provide some opportunities for you to engage with this institution, which we'd encourage you to participate in. I wish you every success for the future. So I declare closed this congregation for the conferment of degrees and presentation of diplomas and certificates and invite our new graduates and recipients to join the academic procession as it leaves the hall. I'd ask parents and friends to wait until the procession has left. Thank you. alumni office was established to ensure that the relationship between graduates and alma mater becomes lifelong. Many people will have forged lasting personal and professional friendships while at Queen's and the ongoing alumni outreach program aims to keep Queen's men and Queen's women in touch with the university and of course with each other. In time alumni will make return visits to Queen's for reunions, public lectures, social and academic events, and perhaps further study. It's particularly important to stay in contact if careers are pursued overseas, and for this reason, Queen's now has a number of graduate organisations based both here in Northern Ireland 
and throughout the world in Canada, America, the Far East, Africa and Northern Europe. So, graduation should not mark the end of your association with Queen's. Through the alumni office, those friends, contacts and memories can last a lifetime. <laughs>